I love Ted Danson. Something About Amelia is a brilliant film, but that doesn't mean it's an easy watch. This was released in 1984. It's directed by Randa Haynes and written by William Hanley. And it stars Ted Danson as Stephen Bennett and Glenn Close as Gail Bennett. And we have Roxana Zal as Amelia. And Amelia confides in her teacher that her father has been sexually abusing her. And the film is all about the aftermath. Partly with Amelia talking to various people to come to terms with things and also with her her father being forced to be kept away. And I don't want to say too much about what happens, but what I will say is that it does seem unrealistic. And this is me judging from what I know would happen today, but this was in the 1980s. So maybe the character of Stephen would have been treated this way in the 80s, whereas if this happened today, I feel like things would be very different. For example, and again, I'm speaking from the perspective of today, but also somebody in the UK, But with this one, after Amelia made the accusation, and of course it was just an accusation before the investigation happened, she was removed from the home, completely expected. But her younger sister was allowed to stay in the home. I mean, she she was actually staying at a friend's house that night, but social services did not intervene and remove the child while still allowing the father to live there. Today in the UK, that would never happen. As soon as you've got an allegation of child abuse of any kind, all of the children are removed from the home unless the parent or whoever is doing it is taken away. So for for today, it's unrealistic. I don't know how accurate it would have been for the 80s. If anybody can provide any context or if they know for a fact that actually this is how these kind of things were treated in the 80s, please feel free to let me know. I'd be very keen to learn more about that. But watching it today... It's a bit frustrating to see how things were handled because it's definitely not how things would be handled today. And that's kind of frustrating because of of the girls, of the children in this. And that's not to say that things weren't taken seriously because they were, but I don't think they were handled as well as they could have been. And that meant it was quite frustrating to watch. But that's not the real reason why it's difficult to watch. The real reason is because... Ted Danson's character is sleazy and creepy and difficult to watch. I did feel at one point they were kind of making excuses for him. Not quite as strong as that, but they were talking about why he might have done this. And I won't spoil it by going into all the details. But the way they were talking, it kind of sounded like they were saying, well, it's not his fault, it's because of this. And obviously, yes, sometimes it's something they can't suppress, But that doesn't mean that it's okay or that it's excusable. And I'm not saying the film is excusing this behaviour, but the way they were talking, it's kind of like they were saying, well, it's not really his fault, is it? We can just do this and it'll be fine. And I, I didn't really agree with a lot of that. But again, I don't know if that's how things like this were handled in the 80s or if the film is not an accurate representation of what things were like at the time. And again, I would be... Very, very keen to know if anybody can corroborate any of this information. But Dancer's performance was was brilliant, but difficult. Really, really difficult, because I don't want to think of him in this role as this terrible person who did this to his own daughter. And obviously, massive credit to Dancer and his his range in acting, because it's it's very different to any role that I've seen him play before. And it's certainly very well done, but very, very uncomfortable. It's a fascinating story. It might not have the most satisfying outcomes or directions. And again, I say this as somebody who knows how this would be treated differently today in the UK, at least. I would love some more information on how accurate this is for the States in the 80s. But either way, it was a an enjoyable watch for the right reason to see this little girl getting help to see her speaking out not everybody believed her some people thought she should have kept her mouth shut and I feel like that's that's accurate I feel like that part of the film and the way certain people responded to her I feel like that's very truthful of how some people would react and I'd like to think that anybody watching this who's gone through something similar would look at Amelia and realise that she had the courage to do the really difficult thing and tell somebody about it. And if even one person watches this film, realises I'm not alone, 
other people experience this, unfortunately, and that if you tell somebody there is help out there, then that's a great thing. So the film could potentially, really, could save a life because, you know, some people, unfortunately, you hear stories of people going through something similar, not being able to cope with the guilt and unfortunately doing things that they can't undo. And if the film can stop that happening for even one person, that's incredible. So it might not be the most accurate, or I hope it's not the most accurate, based on the way that Stephen was treated and the case was handled. But in other ways, it's great to see the support for Amelia. It's encouraging, hopefully, to to see that if you speak out, there is help out there. And also, if people around you react the same way people around Amelia did, that's not unusual. It might even prepare people for that kind of reaction. So I think the film has a lot to offer. And if it falls in front of the right person at the right time, It could do a lot of good. It could do a lot, a lot of good. And Ted Danson's performance is uh, particularly brilliant, disturbing, but brilliant. And if it sounds like a film that would appeal to you, if it seems like it's one that you'd find fascinating, or if it feels like something you could benefit from seeing, then I definitely recommend something about Amelia.